Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to export your files as digital paper in Photoshop when you are using artboards. Currently, I have one of my uh, templates set open here in Photoshop. In the past, what I've recommended was going to File, Export, Export As. And with this feature, you are able to export all your artboards at once and save them as digital paper. Um, but what I have found is that this isn't the best option and I'm going to show you why. So here are my um, digital papers that I exported uh, through the export as feature. And what you'll see here is under dimensions, we see 3600 by 3600 pixels. And then to actually see the DPI uh, for this document, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Um, for Mac and then just under tools here, I'm going to look at show inspector and then here it shows that it's actually um, exporting it at 72 pixels per inch and I didn't realize this until now that it's giving me a document with a DPI of 72 pixels per inch and ideally with digital scrapbook paper, it should be a 12 by 12 inch at 300 DPI. So I'm going to go ahead and pull um, this document in to Photoshop as the this is the exported image that I opened in Photoshop so I'm gonna go to image and then check the image size on this here and what we see is it tells us we have our 32 resolution um, we have 36,000 pixels by 36,000 pixels but if I actually change this to inches it actually shows us that this document is 50 inches by 50 inches at 72 pixels per inch so basically what that means is if we scale this image down to uh, 12 inches by 12 inches, which is standard with digital scrapbook paper, we'll still get our 300 DPI. So we still have the same DPI that we want with this image, but it is a lot larger than what we are anticipating. So with that being said, I do not recommend the export as feature anymore, um, but I will show you what to use instead. So we'll go ahead and click on okay here. So in this document here, I've got multiple artboards. I'm ready to save it as digital scrapbook paper. Instead of going to File, Export, Export As, instead we are going to use this Artboards to Files feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Here you can set your destination. So you can just click the Browse button and select the file holder that you want to save it to and then click on that file there. And then here under file name prefix, you can um, give it a um, descriptor. So in this case, it's pink and blue. And then uh, this is a prefix. So I'm just gonna add a, another dash and then it will take on the artboard name after that. And I wanna make sure artboard content only is selected and then uh, make sure you deselect include background and export. You don't want that selected. So the only thing selected here is our artboard content only. And then under file type, you wanna select the JPEG here and then go ahead and click on run. As you can see, it is individually saving each of these files. And then it just takes a little bit for it to work through. Um, in this case, I had 20 artboards. Uh, once it finished, you'll see that it says artboards to files was successful. And then we can go ahead and click on OK. And then let's go ahead and test what we exported. So I'm going to open it up. In our files here, we see that it added that prefix pink and blue. And then it took my artboard name here. So let's go ahead and open this file. And then here we can see on the right hand side, we see our dimensions at 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And in this case, it shows our resolution of 300 DPI. So this export artboards to files gives us and retains that resolution we want. So I just wanted to make this video um, because I noticed that the export as feature was not behaving as I expected, that it was not giving me the um, correct resolution. So I suggest no longer using the export as feature and start using um, the, the save um, artboards to files. Uh, let's go ahead and create a document that does not have an artboard. So we're just dealing with one file. So I'm going to go ahead and create a document here. 
And then I'm just going to quickly um, use some of my actions here just to add a pattern here that we can um, export here. So we have a um, digital paper here that we are ready to export. So if I do the same thing, file, export, in this case you are not going to see the artboards to files feature, um, but you still do not want to use the export as feature because the same thing will happen. In this case, for a single paper that you want to save as digital scrapbook paper, I recommend using save a copy. So we'll go ahead and click on that here. Go ahead and give it a title. So we'll go red polka dots and then click, um, in this case, I'm going to save it on my computer. And then here you can select your format. So in this case, we want JPEG. And then you can select to embed the color, color profile is always a good idea. And then we'll go ahead and save it here. Here you can uh, select your uh, quality options. Generally with digital scrap of paper, you want a larger file size. So we'll go ahead and click on OK here. And then let's check the resolution on that digital paper. So here is our file here. As we can see, we have 3600 by 3600. Resolution is 300 dpi. So, so just to recap, if you have a single piece of paper that you want to export as digital scrapbook paper and you are not using the artboards feature, go ahead and go to file and save a copy. In the case of when you are using multiple artboards, you'll want to go to file export and then use the artboards to files feature. This will help to maintain the 300 dpi um, resolution that we want with digital scrapbook paper and make sure you are no longer using the export as feature in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.